You Jimmy? The Kirsten's boy. Is... You alone, Jimmy? I'll take that as a yes. You're a two-time loser, Jimmy. One more felony and they throw away the keys. You know what? You might do all right in prison. You got the lips for it. You're either a servant or a king in this place, and I ain't no fucking servant. No, no. You're a thief. Oh, what the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? Wait, 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 fuck, psycho, wait! Jimmy, I'm gonna give you two choices. One is I take you and all this shit and I drive you down to the sheriff's office and it's good riddance to your sorry ass. Or you prove that you deserve another chance. From what I can see, you don't. But it ain't up to me. You with the Yellowstone? It's getting cold, Jimmy. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna take down the sheriff's station. Get, get up. Why would John Dutton give a shit about me? He doesn't. But he will. Hey, Jimmy, go ahead and put that down. I don't know nothing about horses. Now you're getting a crash course, Jimmy. Should I pet him? <laughs> I don't think it's going to make much difference. You got it on your side? Yeah. I'm good. You pull this so you don't flip back. Understand? All right? He's going to hate it for shit. But whatever you do, Jimmy, don't you let go. Well, can we just can we talk about this for a second? Good luck, Jimmy. 20 on the horse. I got 40 on the ball. I'd expect some resistance. <laughs> Define resistance. You be quiet. Resistance is the kind of thing that defines itself, Jimmy. Let's go. Kick him. Damn, that thing's a freight train. Hey, I don't miss being low man. Low man's what turns you into cowboys. You make him one, too. <laughs> well, it's an even bet who quits first. Yeah. That boy quit hours ago. If he didn't strap in the saddle, he'd be laying in the dirt. Yeah, he'll be a cowboy before sundown. It's just a favor, Rip. I'm afraid that's all he'll ever be. Excuse me. Sir, would you mind helping me? Fuck you, old man. Asshole. Look at this. Jimmy. Hey, man. Hey, Blake. Where the fuck you been? Uh, just working. Working? Yeah, we're at the Yellowstone. Mm, the Yellowstone. Can't ride no fucking horse. Can now. I'm good. You can pay me the money you owe me, motherfucker. Better yet, you can go on a little shopping spree for me. That's right. You don't need a list. You know exactly what to get. Nice hat. Dipshit. Go back inside. Fuck you. Jimmy! Go back inside! 
motherfucker. Fuck you! What happened to you? We gotta go. Drive. Drive. Get out of here! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. You bitch! Come here! No, fuck! Get out of here! Jimmy, close your eyes! Get out of here! Oh, fuck! What the fuck? You're welcome! Go, 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 go! Fuck! Why did you do that? Are you crazy? Oh, oh fuck. He's fucking dead. Yeah. What the fuck? How much do you owe? How much, Jimmy? Around 8,000. I ain't got it. I know you don't. Yeah, I'll get it. They said a week. Or I get this again. I'll get it. Because of what we did, they beat him? Yeah, they beat him for what I did. Hey, I gotta ask you something. Is there any extra work I could do around here? Just gotta make some money. You can do all the extra work you want around here, Jimmy. But you ain't gonna get paid for it. You're on salary. Wait, so there's nothing I can do? When a cowboy needs extra money, he wins it. Wins it how? Bronc riding, roping, bulldogging, cutting. All the shit we do every day. But you can barely do it as it is. <clears throat> so you ain't gonna win no money at it. You ready? Come on, you ready, Jimmy? I need a minute. You ain't got a minute. I look at that cowboy in the shoot gate there and give him a nod. One cowboy. Huh. So what, what do I do now? Wave to the crowd and throw that hat. Hell of a ride. Let's get you paid. <laughs> What's wrong? Not a thing. <laughs> Can we send him for cigarettes? You up for a store run, Jimmy? Where's Ray? It smells like your new cook doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm the new cook. And I know exactly what I'm doing, quitter. Well, where is it?
Jesus, Jimmy, I didn't know goat fucking paid so well. Oh, we're done. Leave my grandfather alone. Look whose balls finally drop. We're square on the money, Jimmy. But your bitch still owes me for that little bear spray stunt. Another grand, and she's off the hook. I just gave you all the money I have. That looks like it's worth something. Commander, he's up at the house. I'm not here to see John. Looking for Jimmy Hurstrom. Um, what's he being charged with? Not being charged with anything. Jimmy. It's bad news. We found your grandfather this morning. Found him? What do you mean? Well, it seems he'd been assaulted recently. And it appears a uh, blood vessel and his brain ruptured as a result. And he had a stroke. And, uh, I'm sorry. Now, were you aware of this assault? You know anyone who want to hurt him? You have a disagreement with anyone? Or you think of something, you let me know. You need to go to the coroner's office and sign some paperwork. I'm sorry for your loss. What happened? They killed him. I paid and they still killed him. What? I fucking paid and they still fucking killed him. Jimmy just went fucking inside. Mike, I want it. I want it. You gotta be fucking kidding me, Jimmy. You risked your life for a fucking belt buckle. 
Lloyd, get him in the truck. No, 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 no! from the rodeo leads right here. What day is it? Well, it's payday for the hospital. They won the lottery with you. I had to write all this shit down. You have a compression fracture in your neck and two in your back. Bone fragments press against your spine and figure out how to get that out. Shattered your hip which they just up and replaced. Doctor said you're the youngest person he's ever done that to, so congratulations for that. He wants you up and walking today. How that's possible, I have, I have no idea. You have a grade three concussion. We're supposed to bring you back to the hospital if you experience nausea or confusion. I asked if there's other symptoms since nauseous and confused is your natural state of being. They said your eyes might dilate, so we'll be on the lookout for that. What's wrong with my arm? Well, they didn't mention your arm, so it must be fine. Doesn't look fine. <laughs> yeah, well, compared to the rest of this shit, it's fine. How am I gonna... How am I gonna pay for all this? Well, the hospital's pretty curious about that themselves. Look at me. Hospital bill's not a concern. But you gotta make me a promise. No more rodeo. It's the only thing that ever... Or made me feel like I was worth something. Yeah. Well, I figured as much. Oh. Learn the rope. All you're risking is a thumb, and you got two of those. Mr. Dutton, uh, thank you. Yeah, well, learn the rope, Jimmy. I'm not paying for this shit twice. Good bucks. I'll let it lose, huh? Encouraged by the scans, I'm making good progress in PT. I think we've reached that point, Jimmy. What point? Your movement must be restricted to physical therapy. You can go to the bathroom, you can walk from one room to the next, but any physical exertion must be supervised. And that thoracic brace stays on 24 hours a day. Two most dangerous places for you, the stairs and the bathroom. A slip in the shower, we are right back to square one or worse, got it? We got it. Discharge should take a couple of hours. 
Oh, I let the ranch know in the hopes they could arrange a ramp, and what do you know? The bunkhouse already has one. That's how dangerous your job is. You need to think about that. Wait, you called the ranch? Who'd you talk to? What'd they say? Said they were sending a car. Well, he sure got lucky when he found you. No, I'm the lucky one. No, honey, you aren't. Can you give us a minute? <clears throat> How do you feel? It's weird. <laughs> I don't have any feeling in the tips of my fingers, but they still hurt. I don't know how I can't feel them and they hurt at the same time, you know? <laughs> My grandfather lost his leg. Said the worst pain he ever felt was in his toes after his leg was gone. Phantom pain, they call it. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what I got. <laughs> you broke your word to me, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you broke your word. I'm sorry, sir. Tell you what, you know, I'm so, I'm so goddamn tired of being right. I told you this would happen. What did I say next? Oh, please don't fire me, sir. All right, I could still be useful. There's all yeah. sorts of. How can you be useful? You can't ride, you can't lift anything, but in a few months you will, and you think you have cheating fate all figured out, and you'll do it again, and I won't watch it happen. Please. Please. Mr. Dunn, please. Please what? What do you think I'm going to do? Kick you off the ranch? I made a promise to your grandfather, and I'm like you, I keep my word. But I'm done trying to make a man out of you, Jimmy. I'm leaving that to someone else. Who? It's the last favor I called in for you. You screw this up, you're on your own. Let's get you packed up, Jimmy. Well, where am I going? Now, Travis is pulling out here tomorrow. You're going with him. Where? Where cowboy was invented. And if those boys can't make one out of you, you weren't meant to be one. I'm sorry, Jimmy. It wasn't my decision. I'm Emily, by the way. Uh, Jimmy. Probably should have introduced myself sooner. Master Bait and Stallion sort of puts us on a first-name basis. <laughs> yeah, at the very least. So you got a girlfriend? Uh... <laughs> Look, you're one of six single guys in this county under 30. I dated two of them, the other three ain't worth a shit, so... Thought I'd make my move before you go on and get all scooped up. Well, uh... Aside from the Wrangler I'm paired up with, you are the first person I've seen in, uh... I actually don't know how long I've been here, so <laughs> I think my chances of getting scooped up are pretty slim. Let me buy you dinner. No, I can't let you buy me dinner. You got a girlfriend? I, uh, I don't know. Let me buy you dinner. No, I can't. All right. But, uh, I can buy you dinner. All right. You weren't supposed to be here yet. Don't look too happy to see me. Six is sending me back to Montana. The contract's up. If it's up, they can't send you anywhere. Just try the pitch for it. Hell, it's next door. Yeah, well, 30 miles away is next door here, not. I owe him. John Dutton, I gave him my word. I respect that. Hate you hearing it, but I respect it. Aunt Mike refuses to play fair. You played fair with me yet? Me neither. I better rip this band aid off quick then. Hey, Jimmy. We have a 
point if we sold hamburgers, mm. boy? Technically, we kind of do make hamburgers, so we sell beef. Hey! Well, well, well. This Hey! Good ass. How y'all doing? Well, everyone's great here, Jimmy. Everyone except for Ryan. Fuck you. Oh, you can always do one of those payday loans. Or you can see so things haven't yeah. changed here. Pull up a chair. Actually, uh, gonna need two chairs. Why? Oh. Oh. Come on. Rat row. Oh, that's gonna go over like a fart in church. Everyone, this is Emily. She's a vet down the sixes, and uh, she's my fiance. Oh, shit. <laughs> So you drove up here in the four sixes truck. Uh, yes, sir. My fiance will drive it back with her when she goes. Fiance. Yes, sir. Oh. And now the fiance is gonna drive back and you're not going with her? I'm gonna work off what I owe you. Then we'll figure it out. You know, I saw the wedding's gonna be in what? 75 years? <laughs> I broke my word to you once. Almost did it again to stay with her. No, I'm gonna pay you what I owe. Texas was good for you. Yes, sir, I think it was. <laughs> The only person you owe is yourself, Jim. You don't owe me a thing. Thank you, sir. No matter what you decide or how it works out, you always have a place right here. Travel, brother. See you around, Jake. Yes, sir. It was my pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Just don't ever hit me like you hit her. <laughs> pleasure is mine. <laughs> See you around, Jake. See ya. Now listen, when you get back to Texas, y'all start making fucking babies, have yourself a hell of a Okay. Do you understand a word of what she just said? Something about our taxes? <laughs> oh man. Actually, I'm going to see you Thanksgiving at your mom's house. <laughs> see you around, Walker. You read right about that chili. No beans in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big old howdy, them boys in Texas for me. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Come here, Jimmy. I want you to know you always have a place there, all right? I guess, sir, I do. Hey, proud of you. Thank you. Hey, hi. <laughs> Jimmy, cowboys don't say goodbye. They say, see you later. So we're in that fucking dirt. We'll say our goodbyes then. Get a long drive. Come on, get out of here. Let's go. Oh,
find myself back home. You done yet? No, we gotta work the two year olds. Be home around six. All right, what you want for supper? Thinking maybe the same thing I have for breakfast? Maybe that's dessert. Gotta have supper first. You're gonna wither away from loving me. Well, it's not a bad way to go. All right, I'll see you at six. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't litter, baby. I'll grab when we go in. You say that every day, and then you never do it, and now there's a whole pile of them sons of bitches, a little bottle cap mountain. I'm happy. You should be. <laughs> I hope you're buying lottery tickets like as you got. All right, that's it. What you gonna do? Ooh, dumb question. No, 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 that is out of bounds. Stop it, no. You are not in a position to negotiate. No! Okay, 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 okay.